So in this video we're going to take a look at the new Microsoft Edge browser that launched with Windows 10. So what we're going to do is take a little look at this. Um, this is the basically the screen that comes up when you just open the browser. Uh, the first thing that was kind of confusing at first is that the address bar uh, didn't show up here at the top by default. Um, but you notice right there when I clicked on it, it actually um, kind of moves it up there. So like if we open a new tab, um, the address bar and the search box is right here. But they did add a little thing so if you're like, hey, it's supposed to be up here at the top and you click there, it actually moves it up there, which I think is a neat little neat little touch. Um, basically, you can just go here and you can just go to you know any website you'd want. You can open up new tabs and... Um, it actually is pretty fast. Um, I, it is a noticeably way faster than Internet Explorer was. Um, but I think um, it'll give uh, Chrome and Firefox a run for their money too. Um, some reports have shown that you know it is definitely faster at processing stuff. And it does seem to be overall uh, very fast. Now a couple uh, things. Uh, you know, At first you may notice it is a very stripped down browser. Um, and that's intentional. It's basically to get it back to um, a very clean basics thing. You know, Internet Explorer became so bloated with so many things that this is a fresh new approach on it. So um, let's let's do a couple things here first. I'm going to go ahead and do a search for just do a search for Microsoft, and uh, let's open up a um, let's open up a here we go. Microsoft Edge beats Internet Explorer, but it's not perfect. Yep, I would agree with that. So, but here's an interesting uh, thing. Um, you can click this little icon up here that says reading view and when you click that it actually takes the web page and puts it into a nice uh, you know user uh, readable format um, so that's a nice little feature you know it takes all the ads away um, so you can just focus on the content uh, you can click the star um, which will just add that simply allow you to add that into your favorites um, or you can add it into your reading list um, which is a nice new feature um, the reading list is another app um, where you can take a web page instead of favoriting it you can say hey I want to read this later so you put it in your reading list and then when you have time you can open your reading list app um, on any of your device that has that that app on it and be able to pick up um, some of the reading that you left off on uh, the next thing we have here is just uh, you know for your downloads your favorites um, there's again the reading list your history stuff like that um, and then here you have the uh, note and this is uh, one of the new features and this is actually something that only uh, Microsoft Edge has um, unless there's maybe some add-ons out there for Firefox or Chrome uh, but this is one of the coolest things that you can do this and then you can be like hey you, know, you can circle um, things on there um, or you can do like highlights right on the web page and um, or you even add you, know, you can add like little notes into it as well and then you can save or share it so you can like share it email that to somebody and then um, you know they get a screenshot um, of the entire page um, that you that you worked on so just kind of a neat little quick way so you don't have to make a screenshot to um, um, you know and, and put it into like Microsoft Paint just a quick way to mark up things there so that's kind of neat um, uh, then again you have the option here just to share and this is just to share the article uh, again you can you know you could always have just copied the link before but again it's a quick easy way to jump right into you know your email or whatever you know app you want to use to to share it and to uh, share that link if you click the three little dots all the way over here on the right um, this gives you a couple little options. You can add a uh, create a new window, uh, a new private window, which uh, prevents uh, most of your information from being sent and tracked. Uh, you can change the zoom of the browser page, um, fine print. Uh, this is a neat little thing, pin to start. So you can click pin to start, and once you do that on your start menu, there will it'll add a tile, which is a direct link to that website. So this can be helpful if um, you want to put like you know maybe Facebook, Twitter, Google. You know you want to have those right on your start menu, so you can just click straight on start, click on that, and then jump uh, right into uh, the web page, um, which actually didn't seem to work there. But I assume that's why this article says, but it's not perfect yet. 
<laughs> um, there definitely is probably some bugs. And overall, this browser has been faster. Um, but every now and then, I run into an issue. I think um, like Facebook usually ran pretty good, but every now and then, it would seem to um, slow down a little bit. A um, couple other sites, they would just you could tell there was just some things that needed to work through. Um, but again, we'll click back on these three dots here. Uh, the developer tools, which you know most people don't use those, but they are built into this browser already, um, which is great. Um, that allows you to examine website code and stuff like that. And then you have this option here, open with Internet Explorer. Now, Edge will by default tell you when you open this page, like, hey, this should be open to Internet Explorer. It'll run better there. Uh, but you can also do it manually yourself if you just know, hey, the site, you know, I need to open this in Internet Explorer. The reason that's there is Internet Explorer has had so much modifications made to it. I mean, it was the, the most used web browser way back in the day. And every time they did an update, they maintained support for the old browser because big companies, enterprises, uh, you know, people like that needed the old, the old support for the old code. Um, and so Internet Explorer, that's why Internet Explorer really became so slow, is because it had so much extra stuff in it that wasn't, that wasn't needed. Edge takes all that out. Edge is built from the ground up, and it's built to only work with the latest modern standards. It doesn't have any support for old stuff. So that's why um, you may, if you go on like an old website, or if you're using this um, for a business, like a business application, it may actually prompt you to say, hey, open this in Internet Explorer. So um, that's why that's there. Send feedback. Uh, this is a great new thing that Microsoft has built into Windows 10, and that's to get user feedback, which is great. Um, they started this with the Insider program, and they have continued to leave it in the computer for everybody to give feedback. So if you do have a problem with this site, um, you can report it, tell them exactly what's happened, and help make um, the browser even better. Um, and you can even just say, hey, I have a feature request. And you can be like, hey, I want to you know, see this uh, feature brought back. So that's really cool. And the last thing on here is settings, which allows you to go in and tweak a few things. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool is this dark theme. Um, so by default, Windows 10 does come with this darker theme. Um, but you can click on that, and it immediately changes everything to this night nice dark theme which could be nice if you're using like a, on a tablet at night and you don't want all those blinding colors um, so you could do something like that I wonder if you use that in the reading view no it doesn't change the reading view. I thought maybe it would change that to uh, dark as well anyways so we'll jump back into settings let's turn that back on to light you can turn the favorites bar back on Oh, that was something uh, in Internet Explorer. So if you use that and you're missing that, you can turn that back on real easily. You can import your favorites from Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, any other browser that you've been using. And then here, uh, open with, so this is when you first, <coughs> excuse me, open the application. You can select whether you want it to be the start page, um, you know, basically what you want your home page to be when you first open it. The start page is kind of cool. The start page um, basically just gives you a place to search or go to a website. Um, but then it also gives you news articles and just content, um, you know, that based upon your interest that you've told, like Cortana, or just based upon, I assume, probably based upon like your your history and stuff like that. So it's just kind of a neat way. You, know, you open up your browser, maybe there's an article. You're like, oh yeah, I want to see that. Um, so it's kind of kind of neat. And then um, when you open a new tab, you can also specify, you know, when you go up here and, and open a new tab like this, uh, what you want it to show by default. And I have mine on top sites and suggested content. So you have, you know, the top sites, um, which I think are based upon what you use, uh, which I just noticed here, actually, under top sites, it also shows you here underneath of it, uh, you can get the app or you can open the app. So Netflix is a site I go to a lot. And it says, hey, you can open your app on your computer here. Um, Facebook is one. They have an app. So that's kind of a neat uh, little little way to see if there's an app available for something. Uh, you can, <clears throat> of course, clear your browsing history. Uh, reading. Oh, there you go. Reading view. Change that to dark. So now if I go back here and go to reading view, I get a nice dark. So you could do that and mix that with the dark theme and now you have a very dark and sinister looking Microsoft Edge browser. Um, but no, I could see this being really helpful again if you're you know in the dark using like a tablet and you're reading something um, this would keep you know things from being so bright in your eyes. 
So I'll just I'll leave that on for now, just for fun. And then let's see, we got some advanced settings. Let's see what these are. Show the home button. Okay, so you can turn this on. You'll notice that there's no home button. And again, that's just because they wanted to keep it simple. So you can click that. And then over here on the left-hand side, you'll notice a home button appears back. And you can set your home page. But um, I don't really have that set. Uh, block pop-ups. I don't know why you'd want to turn that off, but you have the option to. Use Adobe Flash Player. Um, it is baked into Microsoft Edge Flash support, so you don't have to worry about downloading the latest version of Flash, or if you have Firefox, downloading the version of Flash every time it's updated. Um, at least from my experience, this just stays up to date and works, um, which is very nice. Uh, a couple other options here we can go that you can turn on and off. Um, so yeah, uh, Cortana Assistant in Edge. So let's go back. Let's get out of reading mode here. And let's play around with this. I actually haven't played around with this too much. I kind of know what it can do, um, but I haven't actually um, messed with it. Oh man, I hate sites that have so many ads. So much stuff that's trying to load. It just, all right, that's it. We're closing this site out. Let's just go to windows.com. And that's something else I'll notice here real quick. This looks like a search box because obviously they have the little search icon next to it, but you can just type in a website and it'll also try to predict where you want to go. Um, um, you can go straight to a website with that. So uh, let's see. Um, let's see if we can right click on this and then we'll click Ask Cortana. Yep. So um, she detected what we clicked on, which was learn more about Windows 10. Uh, we right clicked on that and it basically said, let's you know turn to Bing for this one. Um, so that's kind of neat there. All right, so let's do a quick search for Wikipedia. Um, jump into this, and again, let's you know, it's a quick way to let's say Mr. Br uh, Mr. Let's, let's just highlight baseball here. Ask Cortana, and it'll come up with information about baseball. And let's see, we can do probably the same thing. With comedy, as Cortana, I've got her some thoughts. Here's the definition of comedy. Comedy. And you can even play, you know, the pronunciation. So it's kind of just a quick way to jump into content um, and get more information about something on a page um, without having to uh, open up a tab and search for it. Um, you just highlight, you know, whatever you're interested in, right click, ask Cortana, and it'll intuitively try to either give you a search or come up with um, whatever the best answer is for that. It's supposed to be able to be used too for like getting directions. So, you know, if you found something with an address, um, you could you can highlight the address, ask Cortana, it'll give you driving directions to that address. Um, it's supposed to even be able to find content like inside of a website, um, like if you're on a restaurant website. Uh, find menu items stuff like that so all sorts of cool stuff you can play around with on here uh, but hopefully that gives you a quick little uh, glimpse into um, uh, Microsoft Edge um, just to kind of get some of the settings going um, get things um, to where you know they're more recognizable and um, yeah have fun exploring uh, what you can do with this Again, uh, this is Alex with uh, Tech Tip Guru. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, uh, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And uh, once again, thank you for watching.